So now we have the, the, the more recent Chinese virus. And it's, it's put everything on steroids. It's made us suddenly aware in two months. You know, these long global supply chains uh, aren't as cool as they were last year. I don't know any executives that if they were putting their next plant someplace would think of putting it now in China or even in South Korea. Now the U.S. is a very unusual country in that we're a continental country. We're east and west of us, we have giant moats called oceans. North and south of us, we have neighbors that... Um, aren't strong enough to invade us, oh, except maybe illegally, if people want to come and live here. But we have no serious threats militarily. You will find country companies putting more factories out of Asia and into Mexico, maybe Canada, maybe the US. But these long supply chains that can be disrupted by regional shooting wars are, are going to be like the virus again. Now, this, I hope, makes you very nervous. This, I hope, makes you decide that you don't want to be one of the roadkill. This, I hope, makes you think, you know, I think I better study what I haven't been studying. I better study about how to cope in a world that is in disorder and where the rules of commerce are, are different. And in fact, I don't quite know what they are yet. I want you to at least consider that there's a skill of navigation and that navigation always involves moving in, in, a, in a system that's uncertain and unclear. 